Joining me now is Senator Ed Markey of Massachusetts, who sits on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Ed, thank you, Senator Ed, Senator Markey, I should say. Thank you for joining me. First off, I want to talk to you about uh, what is going to happen in the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. AP is reporting that they plan to hold an open hearing in January to examine Russians' activities. Is that the case? Well, yes, Senator Bob Cork Corker, a Republican from Tennessee, has announced that he's going to have a hearing on this issue as it relates to um, uh, the totality of our relationship with of Russia. And it's going to be very timely because this issue not only relates to the hacking into our democratic process, but also the confirmation of Rex Tillerson, the CEO of ExxonMobil, uh, as our next Secretary of State. Well, do you have a problem as of now with Rex Tillerson being the Secretary of State? Do you have misgivings? Well, right now, ExxonMobil controls leases for drilling in Russia, which is the size of the state of Wyoming. If ever there was a conflict that has to be resolved, it is that. And the United States actually has sanctions on Russia because of their incursion into the Ukraine. So when Mr. Tillerson is before our committee, one, we want to know how he's going to resolve all those conflicts because Putin right now is not playing a constructive role in Syria, in Aleppo. We need him to do that. He still is in the Ukraine. We need uh, to be tough on him on that issue. And we now have pretty much incontrovertible evidence that he has hacked into and played a role in exporting his electoral manipula manip manipulation skills into the American pro uh, political process. Well, this news came out over the summer. Um, we asked Donald Trump about it. He brushed it off and invited Hillary them to release Hillary Clinton's emails. But what did the Obama administration do to make sure that um, the American public knew that they were taking it seriously, that foreign powers knew they, they were taking it seriously, to hammer home that a foreign government was hacking into our political systems. Did the Obama administration do enough over the summer to make sure that this was a big story? Um, I think the Obama administration made it quite clear that there was hacking into our political system. I think everyone in the country knew uh, that there had been a hack at the Democratic National Committee. Do you think uh, everybody in the, the country was taking it as seriously as maybe they are right now? I think, unfortunately, the media took more interest in the actual uh, information inside of the leaks than the fact that a foreign government had hacked into our democratic process. And so without question, as we go forward, we're going to have to get right to the heart of that issue. Uh, how did Putin use his own KGB experience, his own operatives, uh, to hack into our democratic process uh, in the same way, unfortunately, that Richard Nixon did in 1974 and was forced to resign. We have to make sure that Putin and Russia pay the same price that we made our own president pay in 1974 for trying to manipulate an election.